guys, and welcome to the Blue Review. Today we are talking about the Battle of Britain from MGM Home Entertainment. Okay, so here's the thing. A lot of war pictures tend to either be, you know, just full balls out action pictures like the Dirty Dozen or historical epics like the Battle of Britain. Unfortunately, that can work sometimes, but it doesn't work exactly here. While it's a decent enough movie, it's largely one that can be confusing if you're not up on all the military jargon and slang of the RAF. You don't really know who's who, and with the exception of people like Michael Caine or Ian McShane or Robert Shaw or Christopher Plummer or um, many, many other great British stars, you really wouldn't know one character from another. They're all sort of one-noted, and they all have a similar accent, so it can be kind of confusing. Um, I really, really wanted to like this movie, and while I thought it was a decent enough war picture and probably had some of the best aerial photography since Howard Hughes' Hell's Angels, unfortunately I think this one falls just a tad bit flat, flat of the mark. Now if you're someone who's a huge history buff or knows a lot about British RAF and Luftwaffe and stuff, you're probably going to really, really love the Battle of Britain. It just wasn't made, I think, for a general audience. It also is relatively short for an epic, it coming in at just a, like 12 minutes over 2 hours. Had they tacked on at least another 45 minutes to this movie, followed maybe one or two characters, and made it much more of a story, I think this movie could have been amazing. As it stands, it's just sort of a confusing mess, and I don't recommend the Battle of Britain on that level. However, if you're British, love UK history, or are a real big World War II buff, this movie is probably for you. As far as the transfer is concerned, I thought this one was pretty excellent. About a four star release. It didn't have as much popping detail as some of the other films that I've seen, but it had great colors and great depth. I really thought that this one was a winner, and you know, as far as picture quality is concerned, I was pleasantly surprised. The audio track, though, trumps even the picture quality at a four and a half. With a DTS HD Master audio of the US score, it really is booming in the surrounds, much more than I ever expected from a picture this old. The other thing that I really liked is that they included the original score that had been done and released in the UK a while ago. It was really great to sort of hear that score, which many people had thought was lost for years and years and years. On those type of things, I recommend this movie. Unfortunately, Fox has labeled this, which releases all of MGM's films, have labeled this with no other special features and a huge price tag. A movie that is somewhat confusing and is kind of expensive, I can't really recommend. But if you've seen The Battle of Britain and you like it, this has got great picture quality and sound. Until next time, peace.